Welcome back. This is a follow-up to the previous BR, um, the trace bitmap I did of this BR. And I was proud and, and boasting about how well the trace bitmap did. And that's still the case. However, the stitch out of that is just not going well. So, I'm going to redesign the BR as a satin stitch. But, but herein lies the problem. If we look at this design and we look at the width that the columns are going to be, if I go from here, I go from here to here, that's 21 millimeters. That is far too long of a stitch for a satin stitch. And same thing here. That's 18. I guess that was, you know, if I do this this way, 14. Just, just way too much for a satin stitch. So, now's the time for me to introduce the satin stitch params maximum stitch length. And I'll show you what that is as I'm designing this. I'm going to highlight this. We're going to go into fill and stroke. We're going to set the opacity down so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to start tracing this out. I could probably do this somewhat. I could probably do that. There's reasons why I'm doing this manually. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And we'll bring this one on down to here. We're going to make some cross ties, otherwise known as rungs. I have such a problem with that sometimes. So we have that stitched out. We're going to go combine, control K, combine, extensions, ink stitch, params. And this I can show you right now what I'm talking about. Go to satin column. There's our satin stitch. Remember, super wide, way too wide for it to be usable. I'm going to turn my zigzag down to 3.5 or a 0.35 rather. And I'm going to select before. Satin stitch is this wide. We really don't have to worry about all this before and after nonsense, but I just. I like it because it turns out a cleaner, more efficient stitching that your machine's going to be happy with, and you're a lot less chance for foul ups. Now, here's where the magic is maximum stitch length under satin column. I'm going to set that to 5 mil, and you can see it's making stitches. Okay, if I hit apply and quit, and then we go into. Um, Simulate a realistic preview. I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's you can catch it, but you can see where it's stitching in these three points in between. Now that, now that it's done, I can select needle points, and now you can really see where those needle points are. And every, every five millimeters, it's going to make another needle point. It's just a lot more effective, efficient. Your machine's not going to like going 20 millimeters to make a satin stitch. It's just not going to like it. And then you have the problem of it'll be really easy for that much, that long of a stitching to get um, fouled up, to get caught on something, to get ripped. This will make it a whole lot neater. But that's the magic of the entire video. I'm going to set everything to a five, mil five millimeter maximum stitch length. And we're going to go from there. Now, and we're also going to create this horseshoe all in a satin stitch. And we're going to reserve these holes. We're still going to have the holes in them. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to start another line. Um, I need to start it in the middle so that it starts stitching on top. And we're going to stitch to the middle of the hole. We're going to go around the hole. And to the next hole. Just like that. 
And that's how we're going to preserve the horseshoe holes. So I'm going to shut up talking for now because I'm just going to speed this up. This is going to get very monotonous very quickly. And there we go.
Okay, so there is our completed satin stitch. I am going to go ahead and delete that bottom layer. Now we need to do, you really need to do a visualize and then select needle points to make sure you didn't forget to do needle points on some part of it. Everything should have the extra needle points. I'm going to speed it up. Zoom. Outstanding. Hit realistic. Actually, you don't have to hit realistic. I just, that's habit. I always hit realistic next. Hmm. But you can actually see the way the design looks. You can see that that design, that extra needle points in the design. It's kind of neat looking, honestly. I think, I think it's neat. I'm going to grab a quick screenshot of that. And I'm going to uncheck realistic, go back to this, and then hit needle points. So you can see all of the extra lines here are the needle points. So everything, nothing, nothing has a longer stitch than five millimeters in the entire thing, even though these satin stitches are 20 millimeters wide. Love it. Love it. I really like the way it looks too. So I'm going to do a real quick stitch out on this and I'm going to be right back. So without further ado, this is the test stitching that I did after the trace bit map. This is the fill stitch. It doesn't look bad. Sweetie wanted me to tighten it up a little bit so the little white spots wouldn't show through. I tightened it up ever so much, just, just a little bit. And it just became so thick that it actually broke a needle. Yeah. That's when I decided... You know what? I just need to redesign it. Do it in a satin stitch. Set the maximum stitch length. And here is the stitch out for the satin stitch design. It's it's a lot better. And I can tighten these I can tighten them where I did the little seam in between. I need to tighten that up a little bit. Other than that, it looks great. It looks so much better. This won't be on a white fabric, so it won't, the little missing steps won't shine through quite so brilliantly, but much better. A lot less stitches. It went from, I think, 24,000 stitches down to 16, something like that. So I'm a lot happier with that. I can tell you how many stitches this has. Um, let's go into that. Fifteen thousand. So it went. It's it's about ten thousand less stitches. It's quite a lot. But anyway, that is the BR redesigned as a satin stitch, and you saw how I managed to keep the holes inside. Turned out really nice. And I hope you liked the video. And as always. Thanks for watching.